formulators it is Asteri back with another tutorial video when I recorded this I actually had planned on just putting music over it so I wasn't talking um, but we are making the emulsified body cream and in this part right here I am doing phase one which is the oil phase so I am putting in all of my butters liquid oils emulsifiers um, and my emollients, my emollient esters. Um, so I am just adding in all of those in this phase. And I'm showing you there's my e-wax. I like to use a little bit of acetyl alcohol as well. Um, let's see. So I added my butters already and I'm going to do my liquid oils. Oh wait, nope, adding another butter, some cocoa butter. You can use any butter or oils in any combination that you would like. Um, you'll just have to do some testing to see how the end result feels on the skin. That is going to be completely up to you, but it is customizable. Have fun with it. You know, experiment, try different things, um, research what the different butters or oils are good for, depending on what you would like your end result to be about. So I am adding now some liquid oils. The nice part about this is you still get that thicker consistency of a body butter, <clears throat> but it will not melt. It stays nice and creamy and it doesn't leave a greasy, oily afterfeel on the skin. That's my favorite part about it and I can ship it anytime. Um, I did a lot of moving. I moved from Illinois and then I moved to Houston, Texas. And when we moved to Houston, Texas, Trying to figure out how to do my um, body butter and when to make it and all of that just didn't work out very well. So I started experimenting with an emulsified version, um, which was just a thicker lotion. All right, you see now I'm putting it over the heat. I'm going to get all of that melted. Um, I just use my hot plate and I do it on low, heat everything pretty low. Now I'm doing the other phase, which is the water phase. Um, and for mine, let's see, I just have distilled water. I always want to use distilled water. It has most of the impurities and minerals and all those extra things removed. I'm also adding some aloe vera juice or liquid, I should say. Some glycerin. All of these things are great for the skin. Um, you can experiment here as well. You can choose to add a hydrosol. Um or some sort of other botanical water that you might want to use. You can use a different type of humectant, which the glycerin is a humectant. Um, you could use 100% aloe juice. Or I keep saying juice, but liquid. Um, and then here I am just measuring out my preservative, which I like to use Liquid Dermal Plus. That'll be for later. You'll see the oils are still melting there. You'll see mostly that's e-wax and probably the cocoa butter waiting around to finish um, melting. The bulk of this formula is melting, mixing, and waiting to cool. Everything else is pretty straightforward and pretty quick. Um, I do try to have my water and my oils around the same temperature so that when I mix my water in, it will not cause my butters and oils and waxes to seize back up. All right, there you see uh, the oil is already nice and mixed up and I'm just checking the temperature and then I actually heated my water separately um, I couldn't use both hot plates for some reason So I've gotten those not exactly close, but close enough. I Decided to put it in a bigger container because I knew that it wasn't going to be large enough to mix both together So I'm just doing that. This is also in my old 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 office I'm no longer working out of that office I'm now working from home waiting for baby girl to get here um so in my newer videos you'll see a newer setup I think I still have one more in my old office and then the rest of them will be in my new office here at home all right so I have blended both phases together the oil phase and the water phase and now I am using my stick blender to mix them together you want to try to mix them um, until they kind of start to thicken up a little bit um, you, so that you can hopefully not break that emulsion. And I'm going to do a bunch of mixing. So I showed you the Liquid Dermal Plus there, but I realized I don't think I actually got video of adding it in. Um, 
for some reason that part got cut off but once it got down to um, under 122 degrees which is the temperature that this preservative can handle I went ahead and added it in my preservative and you see there now after sitting for a while and blending it has thickened up quite a bit it will thicken even more you want to let it sit for 24 hours before you uh, you know package it or anything um, so that you can be sure that you've gotten the viscosity that you want and I am so sorry the transitions are horrible I don't know what happened um, so this was for a order so I went ahead and added it in my fragrance oil there and I think I'm gonna show you putting it into the bottles that this particular bulk order customer um, had provided for their aesthetic so I actually used my um, manual bottle filler so you can see that it does work with the manual bottle filler it is thin enough that I can use it in the that machine whereas a body butter a straight butter probably would not work very well I am measuring each uh, jar to make sure it's the or bottle I should say to make sure it's the proper weight and I think I'm also going to try a little bit there at the end the ending kind of cuts off but I'm trying a little bit on my hand to let you see but that's basically the process yeah it's not very difficult you can do it I promise and um, I just wanted to thank you so much for watching and be on the lookout next week for the emulsified clay mask video and I will see you all next time have a good one happy formulating